So today was kind of an emotional day. Uh, me and the missus have, have been having a lot of talks lately about just things that we've gone through with each other in the past and uh, some miscommunications we had as well. But I will say that neither neither one of us wasn't really um, arguing with each other about anything that's happened now. Um, we've just been expressing feelings about things that have happened before. And so um, we're just really trying to figure out uh, how we can come to a better place and a better understanding and better communication um, in the future. But... Um, it still has me feeling like in a down place, like um, my, my energy is low, I'm kind of sad, and it's not that I'm sad over the talk we had, it's just like um, I'm kind of disappointed in myself for a lot of things that I didn't do, or I didn't realize, or I didn't catch, and <clears throat> sometimes it's also, you know, and also mistakes that I've made in the past, um, you know, it's really difficult to kind of relive those things and re-talk about those things without, I guess, feeling bad about it. Um, as far as, like, if there's any regrets, um, a lot of times we I like to think that regrets are not something that we should have because they kind of bring us to a place of who we are. Um, sometimes when I'm looking back on the past, um, I ask myself this important question is, um, did I do the best I could with the information that I had at the time? Um, and I, I find myself as a person that lives life that way. Like I try to make the best decisions possible whenever I can with whatever information I have taken in. And um, that kind of puts me in a good position for the most part of my life, but um, sometimes you don't make the right call. Sometimes um, there's a misunderstanding. Sometimes there's information you just don't have and there's nothing you can really do about it. But it doesn't stop me from wishing that I would have done better in those aspects of my life. So it does get really difficult to try to steer clear of feeling that guilt um, because sometimes there's nothing you could have done. And I would also say, even if there's something that I could have done differently in the past, a lot of things, a lot of times I ask myself this important question as well, which is, which is, could I have done better for the person I was at the time? And sometimes um, when, I, when I say that, it means that um, it could be a situation where, you know, I wasn't mature enough or maybe my mentality wasn't where it is today. Um, maybe my thought processes wasn't in a healthy place. There's a lot of reasons why you can choose the wrong thing. And it's really difficult to, like, look back on those things and kind of figure and try to feel like you should have been better in a sense or feel like, I should have made better decisions or feel like I should have done this or I should have done that. You know, going back into those time frames, um, it, it, it kinda, it, it, it's kind of difficult to like be like, I should have did this, should have did that, when you really couldn't because if you could have, you would have. And um, I just wasn't that person to make the right choices at the time. Like, I wasn't strong enough, or I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't wise enough, or I didn't have all the information. And so um, I know a lot of people have trouble with this, um, which is forgiveness of themselves. And I think that, you know, we ourselves and me, myself, just, just anybody in general should come to a place where they can forgive themselves for like mistakes they've made in the past. Um, we're still working things out and we're still pushing forward to like do better and bigger things. But um, at the same time, I'm always going to make the best decision with whatever information I have at the time. And so even by me saying this, like I said, I'm just putting my thoughts and feelings out there um, on record so I can kind of look back on these situations. 
and kind of see where I'm at. But um, <clears throat> but um, you know, no relationship is easy. Like um, they all come with challenges. Uh, you all you have to kind of figure out what challenges that you want to have to deal with with whatever person you want to deal with those challenges with, and if though if you find each other worth it, you know. And uh, fortunately, you know, I do feel like we find each other worth it or else, you know, we wouldn't be here, you know, still doing the thing, you know. Uh, we've been together for about 12 years now, um, dating for two years, married for 10. And, um, you know, I'm happy to say that uh, I don't see us going our separate ways. So that's that's a good thing. But... <laughs> um, but it's kind of like I rather it's kind of like you got to pick and, like I said you got to pick and choose your challenges and I think this challenge or some of the challenges we've been through before, um, there are not as bad as other challenges that we could have had with other people you know and I think overall we're really happy with where we are. Um, I can't really speak exactly for her you know but um, I feel like we're happy. Um, Maybe one day she'll be on the vlog and she can communicate like her feelings and things like that. Um, um, we could just have that conversation, you know. But, um, you know, I think that the best thing we can do is just try our best. Um, even if we can't make good decisions with whatever information we have, you know, there's always the opportunity to gain more information as well. So, you know, I am doing what I can to like study on like different more more communication, um, just doing study like relationships, like just building on what our relationship is and just trying to invest more into each other, um, more into my wife. Um, I do get distracted. <laughs> um, like with like with a lot of different things, um, whether it's like, I would say my biggest distraction, I don't really have a solid like one thing I'm distracted with, um, it's like I narrow focused in on certain things here and there, and then I'll just kind of be like zoned in on that thing, and it's kind of it's kind of hard for me to like look up from the thing I'm working on, no matter what it is. When I say working on, I could be like just focusing. The thing I'm focused on at times, um, like I could be doing something and I look up and it's like five hours later. And I'm like, oh, I haven't seen my wife in five hours. Oh, I haven't talked to her. She Now she probably feels like uh, I don't want to talk to her. Or she may feel like um, the thing that I'm doing right now is more important than she is. And, and I'm not putting that much attention, you know, into that. Because that can turn from five hours and that can turn into five days. Like, whether it's, like, something I'm just zeroing in on. And, um... I'm trying to figure out how to how to get past that, you know. I'm trying to just be more mindful of where I put my time and, and focus and, and things like that. And so uh hopefully um hopefully those things can change. <laughs> hopefully I get better. Um hopefully like as the vlog goes on I can look back and be like, okay, I got a little bit better here, got a little bit better there. But right now it's just a whole thing of um like our whole conversation is that um, I know that I need, after that conversation, I know that I need to invest more into, like, things that she's passionate about, things that she wants to do, and um, things that make her happy, that grow her, that fill her, that that um, bring her into being a better person, or me investing parts of me that I have in me, whether it's, like, a new skill or a new experience, you know, me investing those things into her, and, um, you know, just being mindful of where I'm putting putting those things. You know, I'm trying to make sure I put those in the, the wife box. But anyway, um, thanks for listening, whoever's listening. Um, I appreciate y'all for, for listening. Um, future me, I hope you are a better person um, because of what I've said today. It's your boy Nitro Hot Fire. I'm out. Peace.